Today I'm gonna to talk about my Yanama steel drum and why it's such a versatile instrument by going into a little bit of music theory. The shapes that are cut into the drum here are called tongues, and each one corresponds to a note of the scale. This drum is tuned to D major, so if I start playing on one and go up to the next one, we can hear what the D major scale sounds like. The same notes can be played on a keyboard. If we play the D major scale, we will start on D on the first note. So that was the major scale. If we want to play a minor scale, we can play the same notes, except we start on note number six instead of note number one. Every single major scale has a relative minor scale that can be achieved if you start playing the same notes, except you start on number six instead of note number one. Here's what that sounds like. You can play the same thing on a keyboard by starting on the sixth note. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And play the same scale. I'm gonna move down an octave and play the relative minor of D major. In order to write or play a song, you also need to be able to play chords, not just notes. There are seven primary chords that can be uh, developed from any major or minor scale, and I'm gonna show that to you first on the piano because it's so much easier to visualize. To play each of the seven primary chords in D major, you start on each note of the scale and you play three notes. We call this a triad. To play the seven primary chords of the D major scale, we can only play the notes that belong to that scale. We won't be playing any of the other notes on the keyboard because those ones do not belong to the D major scale. Each chord is named after the root note. So starting on one, which is the first note of the D major scale, play every other note. One, skip two, play three. Skip four, play five. One, three, five. This is the one chord of the D major scale. To play the two chord, start on the second note of the D major scale and skip three, play four, skip five, play six, two, four, six. This is the two chord of the D major scale. We can follow the same pattern to play three and the rest of the chords. Here's three, five, seven. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. This key does not belong to D major. We will not be playing that, that was a mistake. This one does. This is the three chord. Here's the four chord. Five. Six. Seven. And then the next one is eight, but we just call it one because we're coming back to D. The reason we call it one is because this is an octave higher than the other D. To play each of the chords in the D major scale on the drum, we follow the same pattern. We'll start on one and play one, three, five. Then the two chord, two, four, six. The three chord, three, five, seven. Four chord, four, six, eight, <laughs> four, six, one. For the five, there's not a note on top that's high enough, so I'm gonna start playing an octave lower. Uh, five, seven, two, six, seven, and back to one. So because the steel drum 
has all of the seven primary notes of the major and minor scale, and you can play all seven of the primary chords that belong to the major and minor scales. I really like it for the versatility. It's beautiful. It has a really calming tone. It's super portable, and best of all, you don't have to plug it in. So for all those reasons, I really like my steel drum.